Good evening. Welcome to the Sackcloth and Ashes News Report. I'm your host, Gwendolyn Song, and in this uh, afternoon's broadcast, we're going to be discussing bioilluminescence and the beast. From fireflies to glowworms, fungi, bacteria, and a whole multitude of marine life, bioilluminescence is, it's as old as the story of creation. It is the light placed in living organisms by the creator himself, and it's one of the most prized scientific phenomenon on this planet. Bringing light without electricity or a flame. No fossil fuels. What an ingenious creation. And this, this is not some type of a Darwinian theory of evolution, no. The Bible says that Jesus is the light and he created all things and that he was here in the beginning. And these light emitting creatures are magnificent and Jesus is the one who placed his special light inside of them. Talk about being created with God's essence. In him, Jesus was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shined in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. And friends, do you know how much money these scientists of the world have been investing into seeking out all of this bioilluminescence, this bioilluminescent light on the planet? Did you know that millions of dollars have been spent on deep sea expeditions to study the creatures that live in the deepest parts of the ocean? And as many as 90% of that life shines in the darkness. Yes, they study and they ponder and they ponder and they study this light that God has placed inside of his creation, that they may harness it and that they may use it for their own purposes. Now, not all marine biologists, not all marine biologists are trying to do that with bad intentions, but those who are the scientists of the globalists, those who want to use the light that God created and repurpose it for their own evil. And they even track bioilluminescent bacteria in the ocean using satellite images from space. They are fascinated with God's creationary light. Now, bioilluminescence, what is it exactly? Well, it's a chemical reaction where light energy is released. And this reaction involves a light-emitting pigment. It's called luciferin and an enzyme or a protein component called luciferase. Aristotle referred to it, Pliny, Pliny the Elder, he referenced it, and, and the intensified study of bioilluminescence really came forth in the late 1800s. And I don't want to forget to mention bioilluminescent medical imaging. It's really developed over the past 10 years, um, and it shows uh, what actually it can do. It can show the effectiveness of cancer drugs that cut off a tumor's blood supply. And what the, the medical technologists do, they inject luciferin directly into the bloodstream and, and then they x-ray it. They can check the progress of chemotherapeutic agents with these type of radiological examinations. So people in the radiology field today, they may say, oh, luciferin, that's nothing new. I've been using it for a decade now. But anyways, the Bible says that Jesus is the creator and all things were made by him and nothing was made without him. So as the creator, Jesus just, he sprinkled a little bit of his essence on his creation. Now, if you were the enemy of God and you wanted to steal the glory of God, which by the way, it cannot be done. But hey, wouldn't you want to, if you were the enemy of God, attempt to steal his light? Well, that's exactly what has happened. The devil and his army of genetic engineers, his, his sinister scientists, they are continuously studying this bioilluminescence. And they've even used Lucifer's name uh, in the scientific name, luciferase. That's the enzyme that is used in this light bringing process. Get a load out of that. Right there it is, friends, all the proof that we need. The devil has come to take that which is of God and name it after himself. 
And we know what the Bible says about God's laugh, don't we? His laugh from his mighty throne in Psalm chapter two. Psalm chapter two. He's, he who sits in the heavens, he shall laugh. The Lord shall hold them in derision and he shall speak to them in his deep displeasure. Praise God. Jesus will break them with a rod of iron. He will dash them to pieces like a potter's vessel. And blessed are those who place their trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. Well, I want to remind people about a prophecy that I received about a year ago where the Lord showed me a movie poster from the movie called Patch Adams.